coming up on Martin. <laughs> No, 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 I drink my dog piss and it didn't taste that bad. What the f are you drinking dog piss for? Put the piss down. Hey, baby. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel for you guys today. My name is Marion and welcome, baby. Welcome. Okay, standing so twinky. <laughs> I'm a little twink. I'm standing because I'm at my friend's house again. I'm in LA again. Like I'm looking at the view right now. It's so indie. Hey, hey, <laughs> I'm here. I'm here. I'm sorry, I'm really happy right now, so don't mind me. I asked you guys on Instagram and I asked you guys on a Google Forum on my YouTube community tab. I was like, give me a confession. I don't wanna read them. So now I'm gonna be reading the confessions. Oh. Actually very excited because mm, the, I haven't done a confessions video in a long time. Let's be real, let's be for real. Also, I'm bloated. <laughs> I'm bloated, y'all. I have burger dinner. I feel like I'm about to pop. Like I'm about to burn. <laughs> like I'm literally feeling biggy makey. But before we get this video, my martinis, make sure you like this video, make sure you subscribe, and make sure you share this video if you want to see more content from me. A little on me. Now, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this video. I'm new to my channel, first of all, let's, let's make it clear. I'm very dramatic and you know, I'm sorry, I'm extra like, not me girl. <laughs> but I'm just extra in general, so like, I don't know. I hope I don't drop Mackie, cause we did name her in a couple videos before, so rich hand if you wanna pay for my next MacBook. Ah! And also, if you pay for my MacBook, <laughs> you pay for my MacBook. <laughs> Yes, yes. The first one says there was a kid in my class in elementary school. Let's call him Ham. Okay. It was my quote unquote boy best friend at the time, even though I really didn't like him. But he would never leave me alone. He acted like we were besties. So one day I told my best friend that I think he likes me because he just wouldn't leave me alone. I was the only female he acted like that with. The next day he comes to tell me his sister, who's like five through six, and is in first grade on a whole other floor from us, said he liked me. And I was a bit scared, not gonna lie, but I said, no, I didn't say that. I don't know where she heard that from. And he was like, I'll go speak to her. This kid believes me because he quote unquote trusted me lol in middle school I found out he supported all lives matter ah! and he was racist Oh my god wait this 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 is juicy this is juicy said I said he liked me Oh oh my god wait 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 So his sister is saying that Sid is telling him that she heard that you liked him Okay somebody set you up because I know girl Why would you tell his why would you tell her why would you tell her that? I believe you, girl. I don't know what's going on, but this was definitely a six out of ten just because the all lives matter racist part. Just it, what the hell y'all doing? Escape! Get out of the room! But someone just set you up, and that's what I'm gonna say, girl. So if you want me to, <laughs> pew, pew, pew. I'm just kidding. I wouldn't do that. Am I about that life? <laughs> I don't know if I'm about that life, but maybe, maybe. I'm scared because this always starts off easy for me when I read confessions and then they get really bad. Oh, what is this? This one says, okay, so it was the night of homecoming and I was getting ready in the bathroom with my sister, you know, just curling our hair. Usual routine, okay, little girl, girl, little sherry table. <laughs> my sister turns to me and asks if I can curl a piece of her hair in the back since so she couldn't see. I'm like, I already feel like I know where this is going. For some reason, my first of the habit made me turn the tip up way too hot and I burned her hair off. She turned and asked me what the burning smell it was and I lied and I said I burned my thumb into this and she doesn't know I burned a chunk of her hair off. Oh my God. That's like insane. Wait, how big of a chunk are we talking? Like, are we talking like a small chunk or are we talking a big, big chunk? And like, what did you do with the hair after? Like, did you just like hide it away? Did you put it in your back pocket and say, girl, this is my thumb? Mm. What was the aftermath? I really want to know. And would you tell her now? Give me updates because I want to know if you would tell her. Because honestly, I would feel so bad. You're living, you're living with pain right now. I know you're still, you're haunted. <laughs> you're haunted by the thought of you burning off her hair. Aww. The hell? I'm scared. This one says, this girl had a pet cockroach in all caps. So this sixth grader brought her roach in a little container and would put it on the table in her class. I'm not in her grade, but she makes a lot of rumors so everyone knows her. Girl. Hear the drama. My friend snitched and the principal confronted her about it, but she put the roach on her shoulder so she wouldn't get caught. Wait, 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 I'm confused. And why are you bringing a pet roach to school? How do you bring a cockroach to school? And I'm sorry, if that shit got loose and I see that shit on there, I'm like, Ow! You're not bringing cockroaches to school and not thinking I'm gonna kill it. Like, it's a cockroach. It's a, 
our coach about bringing that shit to the school. And then you said that my friend snitched and the principal confronted her about it. She put the cockroach on her shoulder so she wouldn't get caught. On her own shoulder or the principal's shoulder? I want to know how big this cockroach is because just knowing how cockroaches are, they can get humongous. They can get biggie makey. <laughs> but I really want to know. No! Wait, wait, okay, wait, 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 Um, this, this is a little wild. This was since I have a fart kick. I have no idea why, but I saw it while searching up twerking girls on Instagram. It was instantly hooked. It hasn't stopped since then, and I'm too embarrassed to tell anyone. This is the only thing I really keep to myself, and I'm, I'm as open as I'm a book with everything else. When people teach my phone, I get scared that they will find out my little secret cause themselves embarrassment. This out. Uh, you know, my dad is a pastor and we can we can fix it. A fart kick? I literally be like <laughs> and you'll be like <laughs> No, but I would literally be so scared to be around you, not gonna lie. All my friends, we just fart out of like funness and just being funny. So just imagine me literally just farting in your face and you're just like trying to walk it up like I'm gonna cut all ties with you. Like you are not calling my phone. <laughs> you are not invited to any parties or anything of mine. But I do respect you for telling the truth. Ooh. I feel like I talked about this before, like kinks, like the piss king of fart kink, like it's not it for me. And people thought I had a piss king. So having a fart king, I think that's like, is that better than having a piss king? I don't know. I actually don't know. I think both is really bad in my opinion. And I don't want, I wouldn't want anybody who has a fart king near me, maybe a piss king. You wouldn't be peeing near me. But if you have a fart king, like you're gonna be like, but I fart you like, ah, oh, they're gonna. I don't want to be near that, so <laughs> stay the hell away. <laughs> Merry Christmas. This was since when I was little. I love the taste of poop, like no joke, especially dog. So one day I went in the yard and ate some. I of course got super sick and was taken to the hospital. To be honest, sometimes I still crave the. What? You love the taste of poop? Wait, okay, you said especially dog, so I'm guessing you still like human poop, but you also like dog poop, which is nasty as hell. But what do you prefer? <laughs> I can serve it on a platter. But all I know is, keep that shit inside. Wait, okay, this is giving me flashbacks to the last when I did confessions with my girl Court. Because I was talking about how you would dig in the toilet. Are you digging in the toilet? Imagine like I'm sleeping and you're my daughter. And I just took a big fat shit and I'm getting in the bed. And I'm in the bed like this. And all I hear is like, bloop, bloop, bloop. And you're in the toilet like digging in. And you're just munching and I come in like, what the fuck? Get the shit out of your mouth. I don't want to have to deal with the kid, my kid doing that, so. Please, please stop, it's not healthy. You're eating your own feces. Do you not find that nasty? Do you not? Oh, no, no, let me know. <laughs> what do I sound like? <laughs> Wait, I'm actually scared of myself. One time, me and my stepdad had went into a porta potty and did the D. Wait, wait, you did, you did the deed. What do you, what do you, wait, what are you trying to say? What you, what are you trying to say? No, I don't know you. Mm -mm, back it up, back the hell up, back it up. What do you mean? What time me and my stepdad? Bitch, y'all been fucking in that toilet and that porta potty. Y'all been in that toilet doing the nasty thing? I guess it's better because it's a stepdad, but still. Well, <laughs> you know, on you, uh, websites there is like stuff like that. <laughs> um, so if you're underage and you just stuff with yourself, then that's bad. But if we're talking like that website. <laughs> Sean Cody. But one time me and my stepdad had went in the porta potty and did the quote unquote deed while the rest of our family was just out watching the baseball game. Don't come for me, I'm already ashamed, but on the bright side, we never got caught. This is fake, by the way. Ooh! Mm, mm -mm. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. You know, there's a lot of things I can believe, but this one, it's gonna be a hard pill to swallow. You said this is fake. I need to see the real expression. I feel like you'll be the type of person to be like, yeah, it happened. And then we're like, we all have like pressure to be your friend anymore. You'll be like, no, no, this, this is fake. I promise to speak. Like, no, it's not. Bitch, you know you did that nasty, but your stepdaddy, don't be ashamed. You said it. You said, I'm not ashamed. Come on now. Let's be real. And talk about this is fake. Girl, you know this is not fake. You were in the porta party. I put your party was shaking like this. And you were. Uh, you were doing that. But if you were a kid, he needs to go to jail. You're saying this is fake. You're trying to protect your family. And I understand, but he needs to go to jail. He needs to go to jail. <laughs> oh my God, I hit myself. I'm so extra. Oh my God, I have to poop. Oh my God. Oh my God, poop break. Poop break, poop break, poop break, poop break. Okay, this one says, every night I snuck out of my house to go see my friend. But when I got caught, I ran 13 miles away. My brother snitched on me. I love this part. My brother did the same thing, but he paid me with whatever I wanted if I didn't tell. One day I saw him kissing another girl, so I 
snapped a couple pictures of them. His birthday and anniversary were on the same day. So I made an announcement and told everything. His girlfriend left him and our parents took his car keys from him. He kept complaining about, about how I didn't get in trouble. I was the only girl surrounded by five other brothers. Everyone else was defending me and it was the best thing to see. Did I say he and his girl were really rude to me as well? So as of now, he's single and grounded. He also snitched on me all the time. Karma's a bitch and bitch, you would do it again for a check if you had to. You did the unforgettable. You did what most people can do. And you see, are you the youngest sibling? You're giving me the youngest sibling because I've done some shit like that too before. Ah! I always feel like the younger siblings are always out for blood. Like, you get on their bad side, we will end you. We will handle you. So, honestly, I'm not even mad about him. Who gives a shit? You can have the cake and eat it too. This is a 10 out of 10 one. This is good. I remember all the days when I was a kid and my sisters used to snitch on me. And you know what? I did it back. Because they would snitch on me for the craziest thing. But you know what? I never snitched on them cursing. But then one day, I did. And my daddy and my mama handled them. And that was okay. Because, bitch, it's me. I'm the youngest. Bad. I'm a bad bitch. Don't play. Youngest siblings are the bad bitches. Let's be, let's be real. Ah! No, 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 no. It's to the point, like, there's no need for me to be screaming because I just expect the worst. Like, I forgot what, what us martinis are. We are, we're either traumatized, we're either living in a fantasy in The Sims, or it's, it's, it's these confessions. It's these damn confessions. This is, I drink my dog piss and it didn't taste that bad. What the are you drinking dog piss for? Huh? You got my hand on the hip. You got a dog to kiss me? <laughs> but honestly, wait, what did it taste like? Cause you know, I'm trying, I wanna try new flavor. <laughs> I do wanna try something different. What did that piss taste like? Can you tell me? Did it have like a sweet and sour? Did it taste like a little Chick-fil-A lemonade? <laughs> Actually, if it tastes good, enjoy yourself. If it ain't hurting nobody, I don't know. Actually, I'm lying. Put the piss down and stop drinking your doggy piss. You think that's cute? It's not cute. But see me a glass. <laughs> oh my god, this oh, oh this one looks like it's gonna be good. Okay, okay, okay. This one says so one time in second grade, there's this girl, she introduced me to the hub, and she was like, You should try it with me, by the way. I'm a girl, so you know, little old me are all okay. So like she would tell me, go on. I'm sorry, girl, but the typos, they're killing me, they're killing me, they're killing me. So one time in second grade, and there's this girl, she introduced me to the hub, and she was like, You should try it with me, by the way. I'm a girl, so you know, little old me are all okay. So like she would tell me, go on your mom's phone and like use her old phone and look at these videos of like girls doing it as you like tell me as you like and then tell me what you see and I was like okay so I'm in my school we have like an after school care and we came up with the plan for one of us to say say we have to go to the bathroom wait one minute because they would usually forget that another person was in the bathroom that another person has to go to the bathroom then we will go and do it in the bathroom you're so funny because now I remember that girl's face and like I'm low-key like what did you like now because I went to see her again but technically that technically was my first time so I was a second grade that was a girl and a funny thing was she actually brought a dildo. I'm like confused because you said you, 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 you go and you did it in the bathroom. You're so funny. What did you do in the bathroom? What are you telling me you did in the bathroom? Did you tell me y'all were playing? Are you telling me y'all were playing with yourselves in the bathroom? Are you telling me y'all were playing in the bathroom? <laughs> Are you telling me y'all were playing in the bathroom? Is that what y'all were doing? You nasty. Is that what you're telling me you're doing? Then why is she forgetting a dildo? Like, how old are you? Like, if this is an after school care, it's giving daycare, it's giving elementary school. Kids are just like so surprising to. Oh, he cute. Hey! Oh, he can't hear you. Stop at that stop sign. Be careful now. You in the streets. It would just be so weird because you're playing with this stuff and how do you know about this dildo? Like, who was teaching you? How did you find out about this? And it's so sad because kids these age, like, we shouldn't be on this. But this one, this one was, this one is wild. This one was wild. When I was 10 years old, I put my mouth for a in my mouth thinking it was a candy toy. No, 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 no. You got my curl shaking. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Ew, and just think about the, just think about the juices on the vib her vibrator and it's in your mouth and your saliva. Wait, how did you figure out it was her vibrator? Like, what what, what, what happened? What, 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 what was the tea? Like, y'all gonna leave it me out again? I wouldn't know, I wouldn't know, I wouldn't know. Okay, this one says, one time in seventh grade, I had to pee like badly, but I wasn't allowed to go, so I decided to just go next period during music. Well, music starts and of course, with my luck, with the teacher refused to let anyone go. Let me pause it right there. Teachers, if you watch it, let me say something to you because oh, I'm getting urban I'm getting urban let me go back to me <laughs> quirky <laughs> teachers let me tell you something okay I don't like the fact that y'all don't let us go to the bathroom I feel like teachers shouldn't be able to be like no and I should be able to walk out whenever I have to use the bathroom like grab the bathroom pass and just leave because why are you trying to hold my bladder and tell me what I'm feeling like no you don't have to go girl yes I do and you're gonna let me get up and go before I piss all up on your sheets 
How would you feel if I piss up all on your mats? How would you feel like if I piss up on your clothes? Yeah, this is personal. This is personal. It's hitting me deep. But anyways, what makes it worse is this day we had to stand up in class and drum on our desk. I was doing great, you know, until the last two minutes of class, I literally pissed my pants as the last person walked out. I told the teacher I got my period and she believed in black pants for a life server. Period, period, period. I started sobbing uncontrollably out of embarrassment and then seeing my crush as she walked me to the office. Then I sat in the office bathroom cried for like 30 minutes until my mom late ass came and got me. One time the house me to this day. Aww, pookie. Oh, I'm sorry, stink, stink. <laughs> this was saying teachers don't need to do this. And then they believe you all of a sudden when you have a period. Like, I get that too, but again, like, you should believe me if I have to pee. Like, and that's embarrassing. Like, imagine being in high school, you have to pee really bad and you piss your pants. This is not fun. They're gonna think you need a diaper. I should run for president. Who's with me? <laughs> I will run for president. Teachers need to start allowing that. If not, we're gonna have to revolt and start a cold. <laughs> One time in third grade, this girl was being really mean to my best friend. My best friend's black. Uh oh. And the white girl would say stuff like, your skin is ugly. They'd say, oh, it's a joke. Well, the girl got mad at my best friend and pushed her off the playground set. My best friend started crying. I wasn't having this bullshit. So I started screaming at her and pushed her down. Then she started throwing wood chips at me. Then I started screaming at her and saying, me and Unso's like, that's why you're adopted. And she really was adopted. Oh my god! This just started crying and me and my best friend told the teacher and that girl got in trouble. Good for her because anybody could be racist. Don't be trying to sell wolf tickets. Don't be trying to say you big and bad and then when we come for you, you got, oh, I'm gonna cry. Shut the shit up. Shit it up. Shit it up. Now, little girl. The wood chips? It was killing me. They're adopted. Oh my god, there's been times I've said that when I was younger and I felt so bad. And then the way you said it, she was actually adopted. That's what got me, girl. That's what got me. Look her, she still got one game to her. She's not the same. What? Stop it! Stop! This is, I used to kiss and suck my cousins when I was like seven. Love your video so much. Oh. You did what? what? You what? You, you what? You, you suck? You did the sucking? So you, so you doing the sucking. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. Woo! <laughs> such a civilized thing. It seems to me that maybe I'm not a good a good person on the internet uh, to do this type of stuff. I just feel like the supportive base that we have the Martinis, it's just it's just getting out of hand and I think it's because of me. You know, I'm the I'm I'm the root. I'm the root of the rudest and I'm the root of the uterus and Wait, I'm really getting us free and bold out here, and I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. This is who we are. This is who we represent. But anyways, but I did hope you joined the confessions. I love you so much. Make sure you follow my Instagram. But I loved you, and I enjoyed you, baby. Bye. Boop. <laughs> Whatever I was do that, I don't know why, but.